Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your full name? My full name is Yurasil. Where are you from? I am from Patna, the small city in Punjab. Can I see your ID? Yes, sure, ma'am. Do you work or are you a student? Uh, I am a student uh, until I am taking computer classes. What was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject was biology and uh, I have keen interest in, it, in this subject. Why? Because it uh, is an algebra subject and it, it is for, uh, very interesting for me. Alright, let's talk about your neighborhood. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Patna and uh, it is in Punjab city. Is your neighborhood a good place to live with family and children? Yes, my uh, neighborhood is a good place as all type of facilities are available there and all the people around them are living with, uh, with the love and affection. What facilities are available in your neighborhood? The facilities like transport facilities and uh, courier facilities and various ty other type of uh, facilities are available in my neighborhood. How well do you know your neighbors? Uh, well, I, there are so many neighbors in my neighbor and uh, I uh, know uh, various neighbors uh, which are from uh, two years ago and I really uh, met them often in my weekends. Let's talk about furniture. What kind of furniture do you have in your house? I had so many furniture and mainly bed, a sofa and, uh, for, and various type of chairs at my home. Which piece of furniture is your favorite and why? My favorite piece of furniture is a study table and where I usually do my uh, studies on that and it was gifted by my mother. What kind of furniture would you like to buy in the future? I would like, uh, I wish to buy a sofa and uh, because uh, my old sofa is a desirable and it is, uh, it, I, I will be soon buy it in my uh, 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 next weekend. How would you feel if somebody give you furniture as a gift? I feel so grateful when someone will uh, give me a, uh, any furniture and uh, I did and furniture is my necessity. So I will be very grateful to uh, any person who will be gifted me a furniture. Okay, let's talk about making list. Do you make a list before going shopping and why? Yes, I often make a list whenever I go for shopping as I am not remembering uh, things and I do make uh, make list when I will go to show. Why do people make a list? People make uh, list because they are not some people are not remembering at uh, the to at the uh, week and they usually make the list when uh, they go for shopping or some uh, various. Week. Why don't some people like making a list? People, uh, some people think that they feel uh, bored and they don't, they think that they are much remembered, they don't, it's, so that's why they are not making list. Do you prefer using a piece of paper or make a list on phone? I usually prefer my phone as uh, I, uh, I make list on my phone and I always have my phone with me, so I prefer a mobile phone uh, to, to make the list. Okay, now I will give you your two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare on this topic and you have to speak for one to two minutes and I can stop you in between. Here is your cue card. This is your paper and pencil. May start man? Yes. Yes. I have been asked to talk about an area of science when uh, I was when I was interested. Here I would like to talk about a, a subject that uh, I learned in uh, my school days. Well, science was one of my subject which uh, I had keen interest to learn about so many things. But uh, mainly, if I talk about the science, it has three mainly branches: one of physics, chemistry, and biology. And uh, of all of three them, I learned uh, biology so well. And biology was one of my uh, one, one of my favorite subject because it was uh, so fascinating and interesting subject for me. This subject was taught by by my uh, class teacher, whose name is uh, Mrs. Mitsushi Sood. 
she is a, uh, she is well qualified trainer and uh, she is the she has tell me about various uh, facts about the science and uh, he, she uh, and i learned about various species that uh, uh, the that have uh, evolution of the theory about the human being i also learned that there are 1.5 million species <coughs> around the earth and uh, i know that i came to know about that uh, monkeys were our ancestors it was so funny for me and uh, i feel that uh, uh, biology is a subject which is be taught in all school school as it is a study of life and uh, i feel so motivated when i came to know that uh, the, the we have uh, reached out uh, our human life for uh, millions of years and i really enjoy to do it uh, this subject this was the uh, i also learned about that there is a theory of evolution and uh, i came to know that there, there are so many species which how the birth how the structures and origins are there so this was the uh, uh, area of science that uh, interest me so lot can i have paper pencil back yes yeah, sure now i will ask you a few questions related to this topic what is the best invention in the past 100 years well there are so many invention that are invented by various researchers Well, uh, I think that internet is the major that is uh, invented by the researchers, as we we can communicate with uh, with people in various parts of the world. What is the influence of science on human life? There is a big influence in the uh, human life, as it tells about various species, various knowledge of the life, and uh, it it tells about the interesting facts. So there is very influence of the science in the human life. Do you think it is mandatory to teach science in schools? Uh, of course, I think that uh, science is a subject which is taught in uh, which should be mandatory in the school, as it tells about the various inventions about uh, from various researchers. So it is a must come and compulsory subject in school life. Do you think children love to learn science nowadays, and why? Yes, I think that uh, children love to learn about the science facts, as it is uh, quite interesting, and it tells about various facts. So, uh, it's uh, nowadays people like to learn about uh, science, various fields of science. What are the modern methods of teaching science subject to children? Uh, through the invention, they are uh, more. They are uh, the. the researchers have invented so many uh, inventions like uh, they are in the classroom they are projectors uh, which uh, whom uh, the teacher taught the various lessons on it uh, they, uh, the uh, the teachers uh, like teacher like to give practical examination in the lab so uh, children are also participating in it so there are so many uh, in modern equipments that are uh, taught by the uh, teachers to their students Okay. In your opinion, are they effective? Yes, in my opinion, they are effective as uh, as the one who he or she can learn about uh, through the practical knowledge. Uh, so I think that they are most beneficial to the students. Do you think museums help to educate children about science and how? Yes, museum plays an important role in children's life as it tells about various interesting facts about various stars, planets, and uh, various uh, models about the science. In your daily life, where can you see or practice science? In, uh, in our daily routine, we can see that we are using mobile phones. It is a type uh, part of a science as it is a technology, and we can see our uh, TVs, laptops. They are all part of the technology. Are all mysteries solved by science? No, I think that some mysteries are not solved by science. As uh, how the human life began, it is a major, uh, major history that is not solved by the life by the science. And uh, I think that there are some uh, some uh, uh, mysteries that are not solved by the science and such. All right, this is the end of your speaking. Thank you.